Let me get rid of them. Alright guys, it is a gorgeous moonlit night. Moonlit night in late October. Good lord, it's already 10.20 at night. How the hell did that happen? But anyway, it is a Tuesday night, October 24th, 2023. And uh, so guys, I have a whole lot of stuff swimming around in my head. So I don't know. I'm just going to sit here and yak. <coughs> I'm going to sit here and yak till 11 o'clock and wrap it up. I don't know what's getting ready to come out of my mouth. So all kinds of crazy shit has been going on. Uh, what else is new uh, this week? But I've been batting around several things, always one of which is where to take this channel. And I can see with my recent numbers that I have, after 13 years and, what, 15,000 videos on Humpty Dumpty Drive, I mean, that's an honest... Uh, figure I I see that I have managed to get back where I was when I first began this channel I, I, I have managed to uh, alienate you know this joke this crap about me having 7500 subscribers I have no idea what that means you know so you know when I started out, uh, it took me about a year to get to the low numbers of where I have gotten now. And I feel like, you know, I, I enjoyed this channel more in the beginning when I was talking to 50 to 100 people. Uh, so, you know, I've... I've been uh, kind of going back and forth with my buddy Veg about, you know, after a couple of years, the way YouTube works, I can't even remember my, you know, my own videos uh, from, from a couple of years ago. So uh, I'm just going to start talking about some of the shit that I talked about, good God, 13 years ago. And, I mean, I can't even remember it. So, uh, and I can't imagine that anybody else will remember me uh, doing this stuff. This was during the rock years. I don't know. A few of you have actually been with me since the years of on the rock in South Austin, Texas. How long did that last? Two or three years when I used to do my rants from the rock. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a long time before Sancho Panza. So anyway, um, when I started this channel, I had fairly recently uh, just broken free from the Matrix. It was, it, it was a new experience for me that I that I walked away from the comfort trap and the, or the velvet rut, I have heard it called. And this is not the comfort zone. It, it, it's a cousin of the comfort zone, but it's something different. All right, it, it, it is the ugly twin sister of the comfort zone. We're talking the comfort trap otherwise known as the velvet rut, that it, it is a trap lined in comfort or a rut lined in velvet. And so I, you know, with, with I, I guess the universe just forced on me, it was 2008, when uh, I escaped the comfort trap, uh, when I walked away from, 
you know, what probably 90% of people on the planet uh, would, would consider an unbelievably comfortable, velvet-lined life that I was leading, to, well, at least in 2007, uh, I, I, I checked every one, pretty much, of the boxes of, uh, you know, being just a, a poster child of, of uh, culture that I, I was riding high. Uh, in, in, in 2007, uh, you know, living in this beautiful four-bedroom, three by, how many times have I said this, in, in, in my beautiful four-bedroom, three-bath home on the Green Belt in South Austin, Texas, uh, I could not fit either one of my cars into my two-car garage. It was so full of stuff, including my second refrigerator. Uh, I had like five other rental houses bringing money in. Uh, I was making over six figures a year. Uh, I, I had pussy, you know, coming out my ears. Uh, I, I had uh, hundreds of... Of, uh, of, you know, my clueless, lovable friends. I used to throw these lavish parties uh, that, that hundreds of people would show up at, uh, playing music, going to, you know, all of these festivals, jet-setting around, uh, you know, getting on a plane, flying down to wherever, Guatemala, what, you know, whatever. Uh, the, the vast majority of this planet would have looked at me uh, in, in the year 2007 and, and saying, that dude has it figured out. Uh... I was uh, d d just fully uh, involved uh, in, in, in the velvet-lined rut and the comfort trap. You know, I, I was uh, well. I was a real estate agent for Keller Williams Realty in South Austin, Texas. Uh, I, I was a house flipper. You know, throwing down two hundred thousand dollars on the damn table, uh, the way I throw a twenty dollar bill down on uh, the, the the damn table now. Uh, I was uh, I used to on my cell phone uh, in two thousand seven. I was would log every month seven thousand hours on my cell phone, uh, whether doing real estate business deals or, uh, or, or making plans for some party with my friends, uh, driving a nice car in a nice truck. I always had a woman hanging off my arm, drinking the top shelf liquor, smoking the good stuff, and, uh, Things were going pretty good, and then I encountered the, 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 this goddamn thing called YouTube in late 2007. The first YouTube video I ever watched was Snowball the Dancing Cockatoo. I want to, uh, we can thank Big Red-Headed Trish for uh, finally making me uh, check out this weird thing called YouTube. I had heard about this thing, but I was just too busy with my life to ever go there. But somehow I got some email from Trish, and, and I had to go click on the link, and, uh, and 
Snowball the Dancing Cockatoo was my spirit guide that led me down this rabbit hole that has brought me to this 49 square foot, uh, you know, converted tool shed behind a shack on the side of the road in the middle of fucking nowhere in, in New York. The, the, this tiny house is about one half the size of my master bathroom uh, at Frog Hollow Estates. The last place I lived in Austin was, was called Frog Hollow uh, <laughs> at, the, at the end of the cul-de-sac in in Austin so <clears throat> if you if anybody hasn't heard this story or has forgotten it so I I I check out Snowball the Dancing Cockatoo who sucked me down into uh, in, 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 into this labyrinth of rabbit holes called uh, YouTube and somehow, I, I have no idea how that I went, that starting with Snowball the Dancing Cockatoo, it did not take long for me to uh, work my way from Snowball the Dancing Cockatoo to Terrence McKenna. Terrence McKenna, never heard of this dude before, until November 2007. And I started listening to uh, the, 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 this fellow Terrence McKenna, and the, the, and, and it was it was game over, game over. Uh, it, you know, it, it took a while. Uh, I I did not even realize in, in, you know, in 2007 when, when I was dancing on the top of the world that, you know, it just really did not occur to me uh, how, you know, just how completely wrong my life was. Uh, I, I was just absolutely lying to myself uh, uh, about this whole thing. And uh, th this gets back to Carlos Castaneda that I had, uh, uh, e even though earlier in the mid-1990s, I spent three years studying Carlos Castaneda. And you would think that that would have uh, that that would have shaken my brain up, but somehow between like 1996, you know, in the middle of my Carlos Castaneda, and it's when I was real heavy into the space alien shit, uh, also. Uh, doing all with all that space alien craziness and and reading Carlos Castaneda every day, uh, it's not like Castaneda did not stick, uh, but but somehow I got I, I I was so good at creating the the character of Sam Mitchell. A successful real estate agent and house flipper and whatnot. I, I I totally forgot that I was practicing the art of stalking, and I and, and I was so good at it that I actually became this fictional character. This this fictional character became me. And it, 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 it took meeting Terrence McKenna, uh, the, who died in 2001, for, for all of this to come rushing back at me. And so anyway, it's not like, it, 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 it's not like,
it's not like when I, I radically rearranged my entire outlook that I was even looking to do that. Are you following me? It just, the universe just found it for me. I, I did not know uh, that I was ready to make the leap into whatever you call this. Uh, and, 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 and make no mistake about this, guys. I would say 99% of the planet, <clears throat> if they looked at the life I was leading in 1997 and compared it, I'm, I'm sorry, in 2007, uh, we're talking 16 years ago. If you compared my life 16 years ago to my life now, my guess is 99% of the people would wonder what the fuck happened to that dude. How did he, how did he go uh, from this person, this, this uh, social butterfly living in this beautiful home, uh, you know, making all this money uh, with all these friends and women and everything. How did he go from that to sitting around in, in a 49 square foot uh, converted tool shed, uh, you know, on the side of the road in the middle of fucking nowhere, uh, talking to himself and uh, maybe 20 people on a planet of 8 billion people. Uh, the vast majority of people w w would say uh, that, that obviously, as, as a lot of my friends, I think, still say, obviously the dude uh, ate some bad mushrooms. He must have eaten some bad fucking mushrooms. He must have eaten the brown acid in, in 2008, and, and look at the fucker today. Uh, he, he hadn't been laid in, what, going on seven fucking years uh, since he's seen any goddamn pussy in his life. Uh, you know, going to thrift stores and Habitat for Humanity uh, and all of this. Uh, he hasn't been to a party uh, in the year 2023, uh, that, that, that his number of friends are a tiny, tiny fraction that he spends, uh, you know, 90% of his time alone, uh, with his thumb up his ass, that, uh, that, that clearly... Uh, he, he made some absolute fucking blunder, uh, and, and, and you know, in, in 2008, and, 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 and maybe they're right, I don't know, I don't know, but, you know, it's, it, just looking back over the last 16 years, I used to tell myself, and I'm still clinging to this, guys, if up until at least five years ago, I could say with complete confidence, whenever I wanted to, to walk back into that lifestyle, I could, and uh, it would be a little tougher for me now, but it would not be you know, beyond the the realm of possibility that at age 64 that I could cash in my chips and and start over, uh, move back to Austin. I, I would uh, I, I, I would be back selling real estate uh, w w within 90 days. Uh, I could be back selling real estate, and uh, you know, before you know it, I would be. Uh, I, I could get back into that groove, but you notice that I'm not doing it. So there must be something. Uh, the reason that I'm not going back there. 
So I'm uh, I, I, I don't I, I don't know why I'm telling this story. Uh, I'm ju I'm just giving you some amplification and clarification uh, about if you are ready to to do as I did and walk away from that. If you are living, uh, if you are living in a velvet rut and a comfort trap, and you just feel like that uh, that your whole fucking life is a lie. Uh, that, 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 that it is a lie that something, that there's something else, there, there, there's some other way to live, uh, then, you know what we're talking about, the routine, the fucking, uh, what, whatever it is you're doing, uh, whether you're a goddamn wage slave, uh, it, it's, it's, wh whatever it is, okay, uh, but, but especially if you are a wage slave and you, you, you feel like that, what, what we're talking about here is that you, that you've lost your passion, that you, you, you have no passion anymore, that you're just operating, uh, you're operating off of some, somebody else's script, uh, that, that you're playing along with your cultural paradigm, and you're, you're feeling like, uh, you, you might be totally comfortable. This has nothing to do uh, a, 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 a about, well, it has something to do because it's what's holding you back. It is these, uh, it's these material possessions. It's the big house. It's all the beautiful stuff uh, that you're surrounded with. It's that nice car. It's all of this material possession shit uh, that you that you just cannot walk away from, and it's the and, and it's stepping outside uh, to, to step outside of the comfort trap or the velvet rut is basically saying uh, stepping outside of the cultural paradigm of now 2023 that you know it's not working for you and and you have some sort of uh, indescribable hole uh, in your life that that you need to fill and you're just not ready. You're just not ready to step out of this comfort trap. I've told this story a, a bunch of times about how my mother, Elaine Mitchell, you know, she's living in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, she was a successful shrink is what she was. She was a shrink raising her kids in Atlanta in this beautiful home uh, in the Druid Hills neighborhood uh, out by Emory University in, in, in Atlanta. Uh, and she never enjoyed it. She always uh, was talking to me about, you know, this her dream, what she always wanted to do was moved to Florida and buy herself a fish camp, a, a, a you know, a little uh, boat rental, canoe rental place, and, and sell bait and uh, whatever. She, you know, that this was her big dream. And for years, we all heard this. And, and, and I was like, Mom... Uh, you're not getting any younger. 
when are you uh, gonna shit can? Uh, you're, you're not happy here. You've never been happier. Your kids are grown. You know, I was the bottom of five. I would say, okay, mom, uh, you've raised your, you've raised your kids. You could sell this house for a boatload of money. And, you know, she just would say, Sam, I'm just not ready yet. I, I get you, but I'm just not ready yet. I, I, I heard this line right up until she fucking died holding my hand. Uh, you know, at age 76. She never bought her fucking uh, fish camp. Uh, that woman, you know, died... Uh, in that house that 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 she never liked, it, 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 it is where she took her last breath with me holding her damn hand. She never broke the fucking comfort trap. She, you know, she had her beautiful home. She had a uh, a successful business. You know, she used to tell me, uh, you know, back in the, uh, in the 90s, uh, you know, she was still working, still working as a shrink uh, at 70 years old. And she, and she would just like, I cannot believe uh, that these clueless fucking morons are pay me $70 an hour just to sit there and talk to them. Uh, you know, she was making 70 fucking dollars an hour sitting in a chair talking to people uh, who wanted uh, to get out of their fucking comfort trap. And, and, and there was my mother, uh, you, you know, counseling people uh, who weren't satisfied with their lives, living in a fucking house. Uh, that she never wanted to live in, living in a fucking city that she hated, and, and uh, all she wanted uh, was her little fish camp uh, uh, down on the Withlacoochee River, and she never was able to do it. She could not... Uh, uh, she could not walk away uh, from that comfort trap out of that velvet rut that that she had dug for herself she went to her fucking grave in, 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 in her velvet rut and here I was following in her goddamn footsteps you know I was uh, I was 49 years old, and, and, and people paying me all of this money uh, to advise them, uh, you know, on, on real estate uh, purchasing and house flipping. Uh, like, I can't believe people are paying me all of this money. Uh, and and uh, as I say... It, I didn't even, I, I wasn't even like my mother. I love my beautiful home uh, on the green belt in South Austin. And, and it was when I met uh, Terrence McKenna on, um, on YouTube and got sucked into that and started listening to Terrence McKenna. And so... Pretty much, I, you know, Terrence McKenna, he has thousands and thousands of hours of, uh, of YouTube. Now, YouTube, he died in 2001, but fortunately what Terrence did all through the 80s and 90s, he recorded every one of these talks that he gave. And so there's, uh, and so we're blessed, even though he's been dead for over 20 years, we're blessed with uh, who I consider the most brilliant mind, certainly that I 
well, I never knew Terrence, but, uh, but, but I feel like I know him. And so it was, I j just soaked up Terrence McKenna like a sponge. A and the guy, he, he was kind of a compliment to uh, it, 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 Terrence McKenna and Carlos Castaneda. I mean, there's some overlap but not really not that much. Terrence McKenna, I'm sure, uh, at some point in his own um, development and spiritual evolution, I guarantee you that he also did the Castaneda uh, work, you know, somewhere along the line. But um, so I listened to, uh, to Terrence uh, every night uh for for month after month after month and it took terence mckenna to explain to me just 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 how wrong my life was and that i needed a a, a radical reboot to my life and i'm sitting here and it's already been 30 minutes so uh I'm 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 going to wrap this rambling preface up. So what I am going to I'm going to sleep on it tonight. But uh, since I realize I'm talking to myself at the end of thirty minutes, uh, tomorrow I am going to. That how to how to get yourself ready to get out of your comfort trap and your velvet rut, and I uh, and, and, and if you're happy in your comfort or if you think you're happy in your comfort trap and your velvet rut. Uh, then stay there. Uh, th this is why uh, the vast majority of people who get caught up in their comfort trap and their velvet rut, that they stay there because it's, it, because it's goddamn comfortable. I was a hell of a lot more comfortable uh, 16 years ago than I am now. Uh, good God. Uh, if 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 the highest and best and only purpose of your life is to make yourself comfortable, then stay in your fucking comfort trap. What do you think, Sancho? That doesn't sound that hard. If that is your goal... Uh, is to make yourself comfortable with all of your little material possessions and your little fair weather friends and your fucking top shelf liquor and your top shelf weed uh, and, and your pussy or your dick or whatever uh, it is. If it's serving uh, your highest and best use on the planet, then stay there. Uh, like the vast majority of people. I'm going to come back tomorrow and, and talk to the people who just have some idea that they are not normies. You know, this culture uh, is fine uh, for most normies, but, but if you're not a normie and, and you and you want to learn how to break out uh, of the normie culture, uh, I'm going to come up with a few ways, and they're probably going to include some Carlos Castaneda, some Terrence McKenna, and some psychedelic drugs to crack your cosmic egg and, and, and get you out of, uh, out of your normie uh, culture trap. And, uh, but I will give you some homework, and of course I'll mention this again tomorrow. Terrence McKenna, Culture 
is not your friend if you're wondering where to start with Terrence McKenna. Uh, you cannot go wrong with listening and listen to the full lecture. Terrence McKenna, culture is not your friend. And you will learn more in that, whatever it is, hour and 10 minutes, than you'll learn listening to me for 10 years. So uh, that is your homework assignment. It's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the, and for the 10th time, but for the first time in at least 10 years, I am going to put on Terrence McKenna, culture is not your friend, full, the, 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 the full lecture, and, and let Terrence uh, you know, do a, a reboot on my non-normie brain. And uh, I will come back tomorrow uh, with some ideas on how to get ready to get out of your comfort trap. Bye, guys. What is all that shit in your tail, little dog? God damn it. Crazy dog.